What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been about two weeks since the last time I posted anything and the reason for that is I just wanted to take a long break. I was getting burnt out from work and uh, just working on the computer was getting repetitive and repetitive and stuff so it, it was a nice step backwards to a better leap forwards. Ooh, quote that. For 2022 and we're gonna go ahead and start that off with that box right there. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. <laughs> So during my break, I was uh, spending a lot of time just taking pictures of my fish and you know editing them and posting here and there on Instagram and stuff. And then I got a message from Higer. If you don't know who Higer is, we're gonna go ahead and find out right now because one of their products is sitting right there. They asked me to check out this light. I went ahead and accepted it and uh, waited a couple days and it finally showed up. The reason why I accepted this product is because I believe products like this is very important to the hobby, even though I'm an advocate of doing DIY projects, uh, making your own lights because uh, that's what I did for my Bashir tank. Uh, I do like the fact that products like this is uh, present in the market because people can't afford Kessels and people can't afford crazy like fluval lights and stuff. Kind of like me, I wouldn't want to drop that much money on a Kessel. So if that light is really good, then I would definitely recommend that to you guys and all my friends and all that jibber jabberish and stuff. But let's go ahead and stop talking and get to opening that box because I'm very curious to see what's up inside. So I have a general idea of what's in there. I just um, haven't had the time to open it because it literally just got dropped off. All right, so the box is like this. So you already know it's a thin type of light. Other lights that are kind of thin like this are the, what was it? The Finex Stingray or whatever it's called. And as you can see from the picture right here, it kind of does look like a Finex Stingray. So. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Actually, before we open this up real quick, just a disclaimer again, uh, I did receive this product for free for this video and for this review, but I have the option to give you whatever opinion I have on this product. So just to let you guys know right off the bat. But damn, look at this. Bruh, this looks really um, high tech, dude. This looks a lot better than what I have right now. Sheesh. Oh, look, check it out. You can even do the whole rimless thing. So you can see this mount right here is for like rimless tanks and stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, what? There's a there's a timer option right here. Hold up, there's a lot of stuff I gotta show you guys on this light, but there's a whole bunch of options on this control. Well, first of all, this is a very thin light. As you can see, it is very thin. Look at that. It's like, it's my phone. It's thinner than my phone. This is really cool. I wonder if this gets hot though, because uh, I know some of these lights do get pretty warm and with it being this thin, I wonder if it gets a little bit more warm than others. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This is pretty bright. Uh, I'll go ahead and go back to the house to plug this into one of my tanks, but for right now, I just want to kind of filter through this stuff. What is this? Oh, okay. So you can adjust the coolness of the light. You can adjust the brightness on off, just like that. And what's this timer thing? Let's go ahead and read through this real quick. So the product features of this is it's a super bright light. As you can see, just now I literally blinded myself. Oh, damn. In case you guys wanted to know, this light is the 32 watt model. So uh, if you guys are buying this for your fish room, uh, you might want to consider the wattage and uh, yeah, this way you can monitor how much power you're using this stuff. So one of the noted features on here is there's an adjustable timer that's already built into this light. So you can adjust the light to three hours, six hours, 12 hours, or no timer at all. Go ahead and click this button right here. And then uh, the LEDs will display different colors for different light setups. But anyways, if I were to run this light, I would plug it into a smart plug so I can control all of my lights in one place. So right now I have the catfish tank, the poly tank, and then uh, this would ultimately just replace the polypters tank. So yeah, I have to test something with this real quick. All right, so I have my light plugged into my uh, terrarium smart plug, which is the Venus flytrap. Let me go ahead and turn it off, and then on, off, on. Cool, right? So now I have it set up to this uh, unique type of color. Let me go ahead and turn it off, on, okay, off on 
Let's give it one more shot. All right, now I have it set at this color right here. Let's try it again. Off, on, perfect. All right, so now you know that if you were to plug this into a smart plug, it will save the last setting that you had. And uh, yeah, it'll work perfectly fine. So this will definitely integrate well with the rest of the lights that I have at the house. So the build quality is really nice. It's super nice. This finish right here is like this brush, aluminum looking finish. And uh, it has a little stamp right here. It's not too crazy like the stamps that are like huge. This one right here is pretty small. And if you really wanted to like murder this one out, you can totally cover it. But I think this uh, logo looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and see the LEDs. That is nice. That looks really nice. This right here, this this screen is um, it's like perfectly sealed looking. As you can see, there's like this black silicone thing right here, and then it goes all the way across. It's super neat, and um, it covers all the LEDs. Pretty sure if you were to have this over your tank and a little bit of bubbles or whatever hits it, should be no problem. I don't think it's waterproof, but as you can see, that silicone covers a lot. So. I, this looks really well built. Look at that. The silicone is like right here, all the way across, and it's sealed off right there. I like how thin this is though, look at this. And if you guys are wondering the width of um, this stand right here, I have an iPhone 13, and it is perfectly in there. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the width of an iPhone 13. But for our tanks at home, we're gonna go ahead and switch this to those stands over there all you gotta do is pull it out that's it so it has these little tracks right here and then you can just kind of put it in and that's how you install it like that and then to take it out you just kind of push it out super easy well wow, you don't have to unscrew anything and you just kind of stick this in there and that's that pretty cool right Let's go ahead and install the other side real quick. Bam. Sick. I guess you can install this onto a rimless tank like this too. Huh. You can use these legs. So now that we went over the build quality, let me go over the price real quick. $26.99 is for the 18 to 24 inch 14 watt one. And then this one right here is $57.99 and it's for the 32 watt 46 inch to 52 inch. So this is the biggest one that I see right here. And then they have uh, other different sizes cause that's kind of in between. For example, if you have a 40B, you would get the 30 to 36, which is 20 watts. And that one is 44.99. If I were to not tell anyone how much this light costs and uh, just kind of put it on display, I can put this on a show tank if I really wanted to because Honestly, this build is really good. I'm really just mad at myself for not finding this light sooner. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and clean everything up here, head back to the house, put it on the Bashir tank, and let's go ahead and see how that goes. And we're back. Check it out. The manzanita wood finally sank though. It was floating for so long, I was starting to lose hope, but it's all good now. So what I currently have on the Bashir tank is this little light right here. It's not even anything too crazy because my Bashirs don't like a lot of light, but I do have a high set for this. So see, I can make it bright or dim. And again, this is a DIY light that I made not long ago. So uh, this is the reason why I enjoy lights that you can adjust. And it just so happens that this light can do that. Let me show you guys another light that I have that um, I really like. It's super bright and stuff, but for my Bashirs, it's way too bright, cause a lot of algae and uh, I just haven't used it since. My buddy gave me this light and uh, I do appreciate it, uh, but it was too bright for him and then it's also too bright for me. As you can see, there's a lot of LEDs on here and the bad part is there's only two settings. And then the worst part about that is the dim setting, it's, it's, it's blue, it's not even white. So uh, I can't keep it on for too long. It kind of hurts my eyes and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wish this light had a little bit more adjustability that's why I'm so amazed with the price and quality of this light right here.
All right, guys, so I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me for updates on the Datanoid. So here it is. And the reason why I haven't been giving you guys updates on the Datanoid because I wanted to wait for it to grow a little bit bigger. Datanoids do take extra time for it to grow. So um, that's why I have been holding out on footage and updates. I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit bigger. But the reason why I'm showing you guys now is because that light is too short for my Bashir tank, too long for my Gulper and Wolf tank. So it's perfect for the Datanoid tank. And here's what it looks like. The light on the Datanoid tank right now is a DIY light similar to the one that I built for this tank right here. So now with the adjustability of brightness and color and timer and all that stuff, it's perfect for the Datanoid and it's perfect for the setup inside the house. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to start this year off with a cool video and a cool product review for you guys. And uh, thanks Higer for believing in me and trusting me with this product right here. And yeah, definitely recommend this light to anyone that wants an affordable light, a cool looking light, and a functioning light, honestly, because this one right here has a lot of functions. We, we love functions over here. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did a little poll like last week or something. A lot of you guys voted for these types of topics. No one voted for that. I was wondering why no one voted for aquarium product reviews because my first one is this. Come on, guys. But yeah, I had to get it out because I already told them that I was going to do it. But yeah, 2022, we're going to try and do more place visits, aquarium visits, and uh, hopefully we'll have some interesting fish adventures for you guys. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace, guys. Mm -hmm.